Hello beautiful souls and welcome to day 16. 16 is probably one of my favorite numbers because I'm born on the 16th. So let's get into it. If you grew up with broken relationships, for instance like me who had an abusive stepfather and narcissistic mother, you tend to keep attracting that same kind of relationship. Gosh, you know, at sometimes you just think, I honestly don't know why I'm doing it. In my opinion, it's a little bit of the devil you know. And also because you don't really know how to love yourself. You don't know how to set boundaries and all the things that come along with healthy relationships. So, how do you heal a relationship? The first relationship you need to improve is the one with yourself. Why would anyone want to be with you if you can't be with you? When are you happy with yourself? When you are happy, all your other relationships will improve, improve too. Not only is a happy person attractive, but they love themselves enough to do the things that keep them safe. So you don't attract toxic relationships in your life. And that is such a big thing especially for me and I believe anybody who's been in a narcissistic, narcissistic relationship or experienced childhood abuse. Learning to love yourself isn't the easiest thing but there are ways that you can learn to love yourself. By one, doing this affirmation challenge is one of them. Another thing is to look after yourself. Self-care. Pamper yourself. Show yourself how special you are. Sometimes you don't actually think you're special and it's those moments of self-care that make you realize how much you need that care. It's important that you know how to care for yourself first. My favorite thing to say is that Self-care breeds self-love and I honestly believe it because say you start to do something little, you start just with one day a week even, self-care Sunday and you decide today I'm just going to take care of myself and that's what you do. You don't need to spend a lot of money taking care of yourself. You can go to, say, Clicks or Discam, buy yourself um, some cheapy uh, face masks. I mean, the Clicks range is fantastic. And I've bought quite a few of them and used them. Give myself a nice facial with my African extract products, which I absolutely love. Um, love oh so heavenly, so I, you know, put cream on my hands, do my nails, and I move on from there. I put a mask in my hair, and I feel really good after Sunday. But then I moved on to every day of the week and just doing something that I could really just escape. Remember that creativity is the best way to escape. For me, I tend to escape to Minecraft. Yes, I know. It's a game, but you know what? That creativity helps your mind just take your take it away from all the problems even if it is for an hour or two in the evening and it blocks off messages so there you go you don't answer your messages 
you don't answer calls and you just focus on being creative. Another thing I like to do is to do canvases and I have a few that are actually are blank and I, I need to start filling them. So tell me below, what do you do for self-care? And what do you do to be creative? You don't have to be an artist. You can do anything. It could be with food, for heaven's sake. It can be anything. Go wild. Just know that spending time with yourself and doing things that you enjoy is self-care. Your exercise for today. Let's start by affirming Deep in the center of my being is an infinite well of love. I am love. Now I'd like you to go back to your lesson on mirror work from day two. Stand in front of your mirror, look deeply into your eyes and say, I love you. I really, really love you. Using your name this time, look deeply into your eyes and say the same thing. These affirmations are so worth repeating over and over again. <clears throat> if you are still having trouble in your relationships, look into your eyes, breathe deeply and say, I'm willing to release the need for relationships that don't nourish and support me. Repeat this five times in the mirror and each time you say it, give it more meaning. Think of specific relationships as you say it. And remember, every relationship should be 50-50. There should never be an imbalance in a relationship. If you're giving too much, it's time to set a boundary. Your journal exercise for today. In your journal, write about how you experienced love as a child. Did you observe your parents expressing love and affection? Were you raised with lots of hugs? In your family, was love hidden behind fighting, crying in silence? Write 10 affirmations of love and practice them in front of your mirror. Here are some examples. I'm worthy of love. The more often I am open to love, the safer I am. Today, I remember that life loves me. I let love find me at the perfect time. Then write down 10 things that you love to do. And pick five of them to do today. Take several hours and pamper yourself. Buy yourself flowers. Treat yourself to a healthy meal. Show yourself how special you are. And repeat step three every day this week. Thank you so much for joining me today. And yeah, I hope that you know that you are important enough to have relationships that support you as much as you support them. What you give out, you deserve to come back to you. And with that bombshell, I'll leave you for tomorrow.